Well, welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal, phenomenal weekend here. And by the way, thanks again for all the well wishes there this week. Obviously, that surgery on Monday was a little bit painful, to say the least, but we're recovering as good as we can be. So thanks again for all the uh, the nice comments there. I appreciate that. So as we go ahead and uh, we look, let's go ahead and recap where we are, where we were, you know, what we've talked about, and see why, you know, what, everything from the Well 365 Summit to everything I teach you, you know, uh, is so important here. Uh, we can see what I said with hindsight now, you know, and look what happened, you know, after there. So, you know, at, at the point, at the time when I said it, it was foresight, and now we can see. So we go back to February, right? And if you go back and look at the videos I shot for you back there, you can see I was talking to you about gold and crude oil and looking for the breakout point, right? And what we needed here for the breakout. Well, what happened with that? Gold and, and crude oil, both of them. You can go back and watch the video here, like this one from February 24th. There was multiple videos, you know, there in February. And you know, here you have it. Let's take a look at crude oil. We did break above those key areas and, look, and off to the races it went here, right? And all these wonderful signals, the same ones I taught you, at the uh, Well 365 Summit, right? We went back to buy side. We held the support. We broke right back above the champion cross. We fired off the wealth signal, which what does that mean? Beginning of a new trend. Boy, did it make a new trend, right? So also had the breakout forecasters, meaning after a pullback, we expect even higher highs. And it did that both over here. It pulled back, made a slightly higher high. Over here, pulled back, made a much higher high. So now here we are, and we're watching to see, will it hold this area and start to push back up for another potential long opportunity is going to break back down below just like our market did here so that's kind of an update on that as far as gold gold did the same thing right back there i told you you know in february wanted to break those key uh areas we did break those key areas and off to the race it went with a brand new uh wealth signal uh to the upside there right no other wealth signals here just this right there do, these do not repaint uh fired off the uh the, you know the uh, uh buy side zone uh fired off the breakout forecasters and so what does that mean after a pullback we expect a higher high fired off more of them what does that mean after a pullback we expect a higher high so on this one here, at this point, you know, we've been consolidating at these levels. We're still nicely about the champion cross and the champ trend. So I like that, but I really want to see us get above this area here. This is a big fat resistance bar and you see it's how it's been holding us down now for well over a week. So I'd like to see us get above that before looking for anything else. Gold is, you know, this is a pretty big move in gold. Okay. So it'd be perfectly healthy to have some sort of pullback. And again, same thing. If it starts to break back down below this level, you know, I'm not going to be really excited about that. You know, Apple, same thing. Pick your poison. It's the same thing, different market, right? Apple went in, fired off a sell zone here on the daily charts back here in February. Well signal to the, you know, to the downside. What does that mean? Start of a trend to the downside. Fired off even, you know, continuation signals and then more breakout forecasters. You recall from the Well 365 Summit and, you know, all the training I've done with Well Signal. This comes with, you know, with wealth charts, right? This, this is part of your ultimate package in wealth charts, right? Right? And so it went ahead and it fired off the breakout forecasters, which means statistically after a pullback, we're expecting lower lows. And it certainly has gone ahead and uh, made those. So same thing. We are in the sell zone here. We're below the champion cross. You know, now we haven't had additional new sell signals fired off here yet, like we did over here, which always makes me feel a little more warm and fuzzy. Bottom line, though, is I'm not going to be looking for the long side trade here until we can get back up above that that sell zone at a minimum. This every you know every day this is just going to come down you know further. They're putting more pressure on it so we got some serious work to do there so let's go ahead and bring us back then to where we are in the overall market gang i cannot emphasize this enough i warned you i warned you i warned you i said we'd be continuing to look for the long side trades until we broke down below this all important area here right and by the way i'm not cheating i'm not using my itp and trp indicators at all with this i'm going in strictly using what comes within wealth charts you know for every ultimate member there and so we're not cheating with the itp and the trp okay we're going in just showing this but this is important because look what happened we did get the two bar break down below the champion cross right or the champion trend excuse me and the champion cross has come down on top of this and the champion trend went to sell side 
all of these things. What does that mean? The only thing I want to be looking for at this point is short side trades. So what was I focused in Friday's market there? Well, gee, no surprise, short side trades. And using the exact same tools, the same ones that I went ahead and I taught you there, uh, you know, uh, at the Wealth365 Summit, and that are part of Wealth Charts here, look at all the entry and re-entry opportunities this market gave on the way down here today. There's no excuse, no reason and people shouldn't have gone ahead and seen that and understood it both from a swing trade perspective, options trading. When we went ahead, we broke down you know, below here. It's, I forecast this for weeks. Go back and watch my videos. We talked about the negative divergences. We talked about what I want to see getting down below here. So same thing here. I'm focusing primarily. Like I, I did multiple trades on Friday and of course, all of them were short. So the, you know, and so many different entry and re-entry opportunities that res the all important resumption trade I taught you during the summit. So for all of you that are Wealth Charts users, you of course got access to the recordings. Go back and watch the trainings I did from the Wealth 365 Summit. And for everybody else, watch the videos, you know, and, and go back and replay some of the videos here so you can see some of this and how we talked about this in advance. So so many wonderful, you know, you know, re-entry opportunities over and over and over again, whether it's one minute chart, five minute chart, hourly charts daily charts so many incredible opportunities here now so where are we at with the daily chart well we just saw apple a minute ago what apple looked like the bottom line is we're below the champion cross we're below the champion trend you know will there be dead cat bounces of course there's going to go out and be dead cat bounces but until we get back up there you know to the all you know the the bullish side where everything that we had before for the big run to the upside look at that look at that gorgeous 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 run that we had and we were with you there every step of the way talking about it showing it telling you all about it all the way up right until then you know what we were looking for with the break and now we got the uh, break uh, to the downside here right so you know uh, it's going to be the opposite side now i'm going to be favoring shorts whenever i can go and get them when these things are uh, synchronized in the sell side here just like on the upside when things were synchronized i was looking for the long side it's frankly just that straightforward you know and then you know there's going to be lots of re-entry opportunities you know through this whole process so I just wanted to kind of give you an update. You know, we talked about gold. We talked about crude oil, you know, in those other videos. All those things fired off just like we talked about in the videos. And then, of course, we had the big runs in crude oil and gold. Then we went ahead and we've been talking for the last several months about what it's going to take to go ahead and look for the sell side here. We got that here with the two-bar break. And then, you know, down the hatch it went here. So primarily focusing on short side trades until this market can repair itself, uh, which is going to take some effort right now. So that's, I just want to give you a big, huge update. Uh, also a big welcome to all the Wealth Charts members, a big, you know, thank you for all of you that attended the Wealth 365 Summit. That was absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait for this exciting move ahead using Wealth Charts and going ahead and having you guys here with us as we enjoy this incredible ride, the same one we've been warning you about and talking with you about and training you for. All right. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you in up upcoming videos here. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.